episode two, episode two, 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 of what not to do when you're dating. So I know you guys have watched, some of you have watched the Meet Bay video. I will link it down below if you haven't. So yeah, there's a bay, and, you know, life's great or whatever. But what about life before that? Before, you know, Mr. Right came around when it was like Mr. Right now, the struggle, dating, ugh, what am I doing? So dating was really hard for me. I really hate everything about dating and I have kind of come up with all these things of what not to do, <laughs> kind of how to not struggle as much as I did because it's like a fluke that I met Bay because bruh, I was done with dating because it was, it was just so bad. Like everything about it was just bad. So today's episode two of what not to do. So please like and subscribe. And if you're interested, just keep watching. So what not to do. Uh, this is kind of one of the worst things that I've ever done when I was dating. And it is getting hooked up. The hookup. The, hey, I know someone who you might like, let me set y'all up on a date so y'all can, you know, get to know each other. And granted, your friends, they're trying to look out for you. And most of the times they know what you like. They've been around through one or more relationships. So they kind of know what your type is, know what they feel like you need. But the struggle comes along when it doesn't work out. When that bay isn't the forever bay, <laughs> and now what? Now you have these ties with uh, this person, but you guys have mutual friends. So do you request loyalty from your friends, or do you guys just act like it never happened? And for me, I think it depends on how far the relationship went. If you guys just went on a couple of dates, and you know you hung out or whatever, and it just really wasn't a good match, then. Okay, chalk it up so we're just gonna stay cool and be friends and it is what it is. But if y'all dated for a couple years and maybe had children and maybe was moved in and you know really was like trying to make this relationship work and then it becomes a little sticky. It, it gets a little hard for you to be like, okay, well we're gonna walk away from this relationship but my friends are your friends and our friends are their friends too. That was bad. <laughs> Never said I could sing, guys. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. So, for me, if I'm dating someone, and of course you get to know their friends, you meet them or whatever, but if it doesn't work out, those are your friends. These are my friends. You know, you say hi in passing. You might say social media friends, but it, it, the connection, you know, kind of fizzles most times. But if it's someone who... Like, you were, like, legit my friend for years and years and years before I even dated this person. And then you were their friend for years and years and years before you ever dated me. It becomes hard. And for me, like, my loyalty is, like, different <laughs> than any other. And unfortunately, because I will go through hell and high water for any of my friends and I'm super loyal to them, um, I expect that loyalty back. So the hookup doesn't really work for me. I just, I prefer to meet people on my own, which is hard. It's hard because, you know, when you're grinding and you're working and you have kids and, you know, your schedule is crazy, it's hard to meet people. I, I admit it is. But I think it's worth it to meet people who don't have ties to others who are around you. Same thing goes for people who you work with. Like, I'm not trying to get hooked up by anybody that I work with because when it don't work out, or if it doesn't work out, whatever, then I have to look at this person who hooked me up with them every day. Or, you know, sometimes when there's issues, you end up talking to the person who hooked you guys up instead of just focusing on trying to figure it out with the person. So for me, being hooked up is a no-go. It is a no-go. It is a do not enter, do not pass go, do not collect $100. $100 or $200. Whatever. It is a no-no. Um, I say just put the work in to meet people who, you know, don't have ties to those around you. So you have the chance to, one, meet them, get to know them without any preconceived notions. You don't know anything about them. You don't, 
you know, you have the opportunity to genuinely get to know that person and no one's kind of putting anything in your ear because no one really knows them either. You know, they are a fresh, novel person to everyone around you. So that is something that I really look forward to. Two, if you date someone who other people know, maybe they've dated other people in the group, then, you know, everyone kind of has their opinion. Everyone's kind of already looking at you guys on a microscope and it, it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough to just really give them a clean slate and get to know them and put your all in that relationship because you're like, well, I know what he did to Susie, so he might do that to me too. When it's someone new that they can express, you know, their past failures to you in their own words and you have the opportunity to, to you know, choose if that's something you want to deal with or not. You know, you're not going in with, you know, these thoughts, these bad thoughts or walls that are already put up because maybe you saw or heard something about them. So I just think relationships need to be fresh. And the only way it's fresh is if it's someone who, you know, you're just meeting by chance and you really get to know them and give them a chance um, and no one is in your ear or in your pocket or anything like that about them. So, you know, just my tidbit. That works for me. Um, it is tough dating because I don't go to bars, I don't go to clubs, I only go to work and home and, and things like that. But, you know, what's meant to me will be can't talk today but what's meant to be will be and you know if you're meant to meet someone you will and it might feel by chance but it's gonna happen and you just have to kind of trust the process but the whole hookup I know someone that'll be great for you y'all keep that I'm good so thanks guys for watching maybe it helped I don't know but please subscribe guys I really do enjoy this whole um a series thing that i got going on because i got a little a couple of sucky relationships in my pocket that i want to talk to you guys about so <laughs> thanks guys for watching until next time bye